Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another college vlog. Today is Thursday and I have a lot on my agenda today. I actually made the decision to take a spontaneous trip to Tampa tomorrow. So I have to do like everything today to get ready for that. And then I have to pack tonight. It's only for a night, so it's really not a big deal at all. Um, but I haven't seen my sister since before Christmas. So we both just got the idea that I should come for a night this weekend. So that's what I'm doing. But during the day today, I have lots of homework, studying, I have errands to run, and we're starting off the day with going to Target, which should be no surprise. But I feel like I haven't gone to Target in one of my vlogs in a while, and so it's only fitting. So I just parked at school and I am so proud of myself because I got everything I needed at Target and I was in and out of there. My goal was to get to school before 10 a.m. and it's 9.50 so I made my time and I basically just wrote a list on my phone and while I was in Target I was just following my list, not looking at anything extra. I did get one thing that was extra. Um, it's a new pencil case. I didn't really need a new one per se but at work I like to take that pencil case and keep it in my work bag and then sometimes I forget to put it back in my bag like my school bag so I figured you know let me just get this one it's literally on clearance for like two dollars it's actually a cosmetic pouch and it's clear with like a gold zipper really really cute so I'm gonna make my one with the leaves the one that stays in my work bag with like my highlighters and stuff for when I'm planning and then this one will have like my new stuff in it this is literally the kind of thing that excites me because I'm such a nerd and like stationary new pencils and like just this pencil bag just has me so excited so that's my life. We're gonna go to the Starbucks on campus and hopefully get a little bit of work done. If I can find a spot, I don't know if it's gonna be super busy in there, but if not, I'll just get a coffee and something to eat and then we'll just go up to one of the floors and find a table to sit at. Um, I just need to get started on my genetics assignment. We have like a pedigree project we have to do and I haven't even read the chapter yet for that, so I need to do that. home and it's quite a while later actually I stayed at school for so long and I got so much done and I'm so proud of myself because lately I've been having a really hard time staying motivated for like a long period of time so I'll get things done but then I'm immediately like on to something else and then I have to keep coming back to it but I actually got everything that was due for today and tomorrow done so everything else I work on today is gonna be stuff that's due like Sunday so now I am finally getting ahead and that feels so good I'm about to heat up some leftovers from last Last night we had chicken lettuce wraps and they're so good I should have showed you guys this but I wasn't vlogging yesterday but basically it's rice ground chicken and like peppers and onions in a sesame sauce and then we just have it with iceberg lettuce so I'm gonna heat this up and eat lunch so here's kind of what they look like and they are so good and healthy so definitely one of my favorite dinners that we make and then it heats up really good for a lunch I'm about to break open this healthy aid kombucha in the flavor maca berry and I have not had this flavor yet I really like their kombuchas this one I think you can get these like at a regular grocery store but I got this one at Whole Foods and I'm not tried this flavor yet maca berry is a good one Okay, so after I did my huge closet clean out a couple weeks ago, I have been just doing a good amount of online shopping to kind of replenish my closet because I got rid of so much. I told you guys I'm moving into more basic pieces and stuff this year, so if it seems like I'm hauling a lot, it's because I am refilling my closet with new things to wear. Um, I got rid of a lot of things, I donated a lot of things, and I have yet to upload anything on Poshmark. Um, something that I told myself I was gonna do and I just haven't got around to it and I don't know if I ever will. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got. I ordered some stuff from American Eagle, from Airy, and then also from Revolve, and I figured I would just share it with you because why not? You guys seem to really love when I share with you what I'm buying and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna link everything in the description in case you wanna check any of it out. And yeah, let's get started. So the first group of things I already opened because I didn't just get these in the mail. I actually got these over the last couple days, but um, 
I wasn't vlogging, so I didn't show you. So the first thing is from Abercrombie, and it's this super basic pink v-neck t-shirt. I love these. I have one in gray and in white, and I thought, why not get this really pretty baby pink color because we're going into February and it's Valentine's Day and, and I just love these t-shirts. They're so comfortable. You can wash them over and over again and they don't lose their quality. So I decided to get the pretty pink one. And then I also got a pair of jeans from them. These are their high rise ankle jeans. I don't know exactly um, which ones these are, but I'll link them for you. Like which color, I guess. Um, but here's what they look like. They are so cute. They're the high rise. The ankles are like distressed and obviously they have some distressing down the legs. Here's what the back looks like. I really, really like these. They fit me so good, which is awesome because it's always risky when you buy stuff online. Like you don't know how it's gonna fit. From Aerie, I got another basic t-shirt. I have been like obsessed with this light tan color. I got a hoodie from Target recently that was this color. And so when I saw this t-shirt, I really wanted it. I guess my camera's not focusing now. Oh, there we are. Okay. So yeah, when I saw this from Aerie, I just had to have it because it's like really oversized too. So this is an extra small and it is like massive so I was thinking about potentially um, cropping this and then being able to wear it with like leggings or jeans or something um, but I might just keep it like it is and just have it as like one of those oversized t-shirt looks and then I also got this which is the softest thing in the world it does come in other colors it's on major sale right now um, it's normally $50 and I think I got it for like $24.99 what is this called Okay, it doesn't say, I don't know, the airy, so soft pullover. Um, it has like slits on the sides and I got this color because I thought it would look really good with my faux leather leggings. So my order from Revolve is in this box. I just ripped everything open to check out all of my stuff from Revolve, but I wanna show you guys some of the stuff I got. So I got these really cute distressed black denim jeans from Super Down. These are gonna be too big for me because I'm an idiot and I use their size checker thing and I got a 28 without realizing that in every other pair of jeans, I'm a 26, so I could tell as soon as I pulled these out that they're gonna be too big, but oh well. They are really cute. Wow, I'm getting dog hair on them, love that. But they're super distressed, and I really like these, so I'll probably just exchange those. Also got this ribbed white cropped tank. I really like this design. This is like my thing right now. If you guys have been watching my other hauls, I got a couple of bodysuits that have this same design from Nordstrom. I just love it. This is by Privacy Please. I also got this really cute bodysuit that also has that like squared look at the top. And this is like a super thick, heavy material. It's very, very soft. And it's also by Super Down. I got this polka dot blouse, which looks funny, but I swear to you on the model, it looked really pretty. So I hope that it's gonna look the same on me. It's really cute. I could see myself dressing this up or even wearing it with like jeans and boots and dressing it down. And then I also got a bikini and this is by Love Wave. These are so cute. So they're super high-waisted and cheeky. And then here's the matching top that goes with it. I really, really like these. I hope that the top and the bottom fits me because I always have a hard time with bikinis, especially when I order online. This is really thick and it feels soft and like it would be really comfortable. So we'll see. But that's everything I got from Revolve. There's a couple things from my order that aren't in here. So I think maybe they're coming in a separate package. I think they do that sometimes. So hopefully, but I'm gonna have to go online and check because as of right now, this isn't everything that I ordered. Guys, I got this graphic t-shirt from Target today and I'm obsessed with it. It has this tiger on it and then like a lightning strike in pink, yellow, and blue. It's just like a really cute like graphic t-shirt and I feel like it looks really good with these denim jeans, which you guys know, these are my favorite jeans in the world. If you guys haven't got on the bandwagon and bought these jeans from American Eagle yet, you really need to. So I will link them because they're my favorite jeans in the world right now. Don't judge me for wearing two different vans. I was trying on outfits for this weekend and I tried both vans on to see what would look better. So I just got finished putting all of those clothes away. I literally had everything spread out everywhere. Whenever I unbox things, I end up just making a huge mess all over my floor. But everything's picked up now and if you guys saw when I went to Target, obviously you did, I ended up getting some coconut oil because if you've been on my channel for a long time, then you know I used to do coconut oil hair masks all the time. Uh, it's been a really long time though since I've done one. So 
I bought some coconut oil and I decided I'm gonna do a hair mask because my hair needs it. And Chad texts me asking if I wanna go to Caraba's for dinner tonight, which sounds amazing. I've just been craving Italian food. I haven't had like spaghetti and meatballs in a really long time and I feel like the last time we had spaghetti and meatballs, we did like zucchini pasta and it was like really healthy. So I just want straight up Italian food, bread, carbs, give it to me. So that's what we're doing for dinner tonight and I'm so looking forward to it, but I wanna do this hair mask before we go. I'm going to drench my head in coconut oil and then I'm gonna work on some school stuff while I let that soak for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. So I thought I would show you guys how I make the coconut oil hair mask because it's been a really long time since I've done it. So you can buy one of these on Amazon for way cheaper and get like a massive tub of it, but I didn't wanna wait for it to come in. So I obviously got this one at Target, but you just need a little bowl like this and then a bigger bowl to put that in. And I'll show you how I'm gonna heat it up. So I just take a scoop of it and when you take it out, it's kind of solid. So that's why I like to heat mine up because it makes it easier to apply to your hair. Then you're gonna wanna fill up another bowl with some water in it and then set that in there. And that's kind of how you heat it up. So I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for like a minute. Then once your coconut oil is pretty melted like this, you're just gonna put it all over your hair. Some people prefer to only put it on their ends, but I'm actually gonna coat my entire scalp and head with this because it also serves as a great scalp mask for hair growth. It just promotes hair growth. Coconut oil obviously has a lot of health benefits. So I'm gonna be all greasy in just a second. So I now have the hair mask in. As you can see, super, super greasy, but this is uh, what beauty looks like <laughs> behind the scenes. It's a little later, I'm waiting on Chad. We're about to go to dinner. He forgot his phone or his wallet or something, so I just ran back inside. But I'm so excited to get dinner. I rinsed out my coconut oil hair mask, and I was gonna tell you guys, if you decide to do that hair mask, pro tip, make sure that you put shampoo in your hair before you go to rinse it out. Um, it will make the process of getting the oil out of your hair way easier. I discovered that after doing it a couple of times, but I forgot to say that whenever I was showing you guys how to do it, so it will save you a lot of time and stress trying to get the oil out of your hair once you mix it with the water you know so put the shampoo on there first you will have a better experience the brake light is illuminating me right now yes well his brake lights yeah okay we are so full oh my gosh we just ate so much and then chad got the brilliant idea that we should get tiramisu of course for dessert and he loves dessert and i love dessert too but i'm like so full right now i'm like how am i gonna eat tiramisu but i will find a way because <laughs> we'll find a way yeah i love tiramisu so but yeah we're gonna go home eat dessert and i was gonna pack for tampa tomorrow but i think i'm just gonna wait and pack in the morning or something because i'm too tired and i have chemistry at 8 30 a.m so 